Okay, so here we are. I'm Justin and I'm here to show you a quick way to do a bypass ring. An easy way. This ring's made in T-splines and basically you're gonna mirror one side, work with one side and then just mirror it twice. I'll show you right now. So take it, mirror it, then mirror it again and then take that piece and hide it on a different layer. You don't want to delete it, you just want to hide it. Now you got your ring done and you can take any surface and start adjusting it to the way you want it and it will update on the other side too. Now this is a great an easy way to do it. I like to do it in T-splines. That way you have the flexibility to adjust it. Um, and it's really easy. You don't want to weld the bottom yet because that is where you'll lose your history. You wait until the end for that because as you can see it doesn't update. So just undo it and continue on. Now, if you take it and start adjusting on the wrong side, like right here, you'll notice it doesn't update on there. You have to follow the history rules and keep working on the side that you originally started with. There we go, it updates and that's all you need to know. Once you're finished, you can definitely go down, back down to the bottom and weld the points and then you're finished. Just wanted to show you a quick and easy way to do a bypass ring and adjust it. And thank you for watching.